Hello everyone. Welcome to Fast Track on Hell Global. I am Samik Sen. Joining us today Mr. Devinder Valmiki, an Indian hockey midfielder, represented India at the 2016 Rio Olympics and has played for prestigious clubs like Dutch AGC and Acme Chottogram, achieving numerous accolades for the country. Good afternoon and it's an honor to have you with us today. Pleasure is all mine. Devin, thank you so much for taking out this time and welcome to Hell Global. Thank you. So let me begin by asking you what inspired you to pursue a career in hockey the biggest reason for that i would give a credit to my brother actually i mean i never thought that uh, at the age of 7 i mean that was my first time i stepped in on a hockey pitch uh, that was in churchgate mumbai okay uh, next to vankhede stadium i mean we only heard about vankhede for cricket and okay. everything yeah but never thought that next to it it's going to be a hockey stadium and when i was at the age of 7 i entered the hockey pitch i saw around 100 of kids playing there uh, a lot of international uh, players were there so my brother used to go to the hockey pitch every day so it just happened to be that one day i casually asked him i mean uh, where do you go every day i mean he said i go to play hockey i mean so i asked him is it okay if i come along with you i mean i just want to see it so that was the day one i mean where it all started at the age of 7 and from that day i never stopped i mean so that was only my bread and butter i mean every day that used to be my home my second home from where my journey started okay so how was the experience of representing india in rio olympics in 2016 well i think uh, it was it is a long journey obviously i mean and it comes with lot of uh, hard work it comes with lot of sweat blood tears a lot of ups and downs it's been a roller coaster ride for for both the brothers i mean yeah but uh, obviously started my journey from scratch from having nothing in life i mean lived in 10 by 10 uh, slum house and then making it to the olympic games so i would just cover this in one word i would say because my parents lived 40 years without electricity in mumbai and having nothing and then a boy living his dream to play the olympic Ooh. games so that says a lot i mean like i said 50 years back my parents came having nothing in mumbai from having darkness and in 2016 it was a light in the house so i can say the journey started from darkness to light it's an amazing journey it's been a beautiful journey i mean honestly i have enjoyed every bit of it i mean more than a lot of things in life i mean i have suffered a lot i have sacrificed a lot and that makes you a champion i mean uh, if you go through hell a lot of things in life and that teaches you to be humble to be kind and to be obviously a champion i mean whenever you stepped in on me whenever i stepped in on the hockey pitch i always uh, made sure that i mean whatever i do i do with the, with my whole heartedly i mean uh, having the champions trophy medal which uh, the history is medal india has won after 35 years i was a proud member of it and then after 33 years got a fih medal bronze medal in the world championship and then the asian champions trophy Uh, beating Pakistan, so I mean that says a lot. I mean, in that journey. So tell me, like you know, winning such big accolades, how it has impacted your career after that? It has actually impacted a lot. I mean, uh, the credit goes to actually the parents. I mean, uh, because like I said, I my journey started from a very poor background. I mean. the credit goes to them the reason is because they put us in the english school where i got a good education and uh, i did my schooling my ssc i mean i passed uh, was under the street light so oh. and then completed my graduation uh, went to rizvi college where rohit sharma ajinkya rane all these guys were there so it was related to sports i mean and so I mean ha- having a sports career I mean playing hockey along with that having a good education has impacted my life uh, my journey and made it more beautiful and uh, so I mean today I mean I proudly I mean I have I work for a company called Bharat Petroleum I'm a manager in that company 
I got a job through hockey. There were a lot of international sports people from different sports background. I mean, from cricket, Surya uh, Kumar Yadav, Shriya Sahir, we work in the same department for BPCL. Oh, wow. So, yeah. let me ask you, apart from hockey, did you have any inclination towards other sports at the beginning of your career? Honestly, I mean, coming from Mumbai, a city which has a big dream for people coming all over the world. I mean, uh, they want to make their career and, and they come to Mumbai, especially when, whether it's come to cricket. I mean, it's known for cricket. Mumbai is known for Bollywood. I mean, people come. Exactly. We have a lot of corporate world, business world. So, obviously, sports, I never thought that. I mean, uh, I mean I've mean, i only seen cricketers. I mean, the young kids, I see them with bat and ball everywhere. Whether you go to any lane, any gullies, any any small stadiums, you will only see uh, cricketers. I mean, but uh, hockey attracted me was only because I mean, when my coach told me that uh, India has uh, a record of having the most uh, medal in the world, world Ooh. hockey, and it still has a record. I mean, we still have uh, to in total twelve medals. But having eight Olympic medals, I think no other countries have ever come close to it. So that uh, attracted me and that made me that everyone goes to cricket. I mean, why not hockey? I mean, and that's how I came into hockey and started my journey. And it's still going strong. Definitely. So hockey being the national sport, do you think it is getting its due credit in terms of uh, the focus is so much on other sports like cricket? And stuff like that. So, do you think like you know there should be some kind of a special focus should be given towards hockey? No, absolutely. I mean, uh, it, there is a so much exposure. I mean, there is so much to do. I mean, we can do it for hockey, especially being a national game. It's just that we are lacking the right uh, people uh, who should be supporting it. And like comparing, I mean, I don't. I, I mean, you cannot compare with cricket to be honest, oh, because it's 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 in a different uh, league. I mean, you cannot compare. Then we are not even close to any other sports. Are not even close to cricket because there is uh, they are more professionals. They are more more into marketing. They are more materialistic. I mean, a lot of things. I mean, they are a private body. Uh, like hockey, it's a government body. So it's you under. I mean. One should know it. I mean, when it when government comes into the picture, I mean, there are a lot of things. I mean, a lot of levels you have to cross uh, to get it dues. I mean, whether it's coming to a player, I mean, well, when I represented for India, I mean, more than that, I mean, when you're standing for the national anthem, it means so much to us. I mean, wearing that tricolor, because for me, it was always special because I never thought about my name on the back. It was only... My tiranga on my chest, I was proudly wearing it. I was representing my country. But also, uh, the other way around, like you said, the, we used to get only like $200 per match. So, it says, I mean, there is still a lot of homeworks to be done uh, to make it better. But I'm sure, I'm hoping, I mean, I'm confident and I'm positive enough. I mean, that one day the time will come, the time will change, the things will uh, come in place, uh, money will flow in the hockey. And because... Uh, it has emotion, I mean, because we proud to represent our country. We of get, course. I mean, so many injuries. It's it's like an injury-prone game. and But in the end, you proudly represent your country. So, that covers everything. Very true. Okay, in 2019, you signed up with the Dutch club AGC. Okay, yeah. so, so what was the reason behind it? Well, the reason behind that was obviously, I mean, 2017 was my last, uh, I mean, tournament which I played for the country. Uh, that was Asian Cham uh, Champions Trophy uh, when we beat Pakistan in the finals and we were the Asian champions. And after that, I mean, before that, even I had plans uh, that I would one day represent, I mean, I wanted to play in Holland and Holland is the world's uh, biggest renowned hockey league where all the international players from all over the globe, they come there, they they want to play there because it's a European Hockey League, which is very popular and famous. So, I always had this dream, I mean, that after my Indian team, I would uh, one day, I mean, it's my dream to play in EHL. So, that happened to me in 2019 and I signed for a Dutch club there. And then I will now today... I am the only Indian who has created a history, a, a boy from Mumbai uh, who played three wow. seasons. I mean, no ever Indian ever done this before. And even in the EHL, I was the first Indian to score a goal. 
uh, congratulations, a hearty congratulations to you for being you, the sir. only Indian. That's that's pretty amazing. Okay, so we you have been talking about like you know the kind of certain challenges that you have faced uh, in career. Like let's talk about you know since you have seen it all as a hockey player in India, what were the challenges, the basic challenges every player faces, especially in this country? And if you can suggest some uh, you know uh, some steps also which can uh, you know make things easier for the upcoming players. Well, honestly speaking, I mean hockey is. Uh... Not for the people from middle background or rich people. I mean, they don't play hockey. Hockey has been played uh, by the poor kids, uh, underprivileged boys or girls. Uh, they play hockey. I mean, but the reason for that is, I mean, who will in uh, who wants to play in a team game or who wants to play in a game like uh, which is not popular? I mean, it sure. it was a popular sport. I mean, if you go back in. 80s and 90s. Definitely. I mean, no one ever followed cricket or any other sports. But if you look at it, hockey, the stadium used to be super packed. People used to watch outside. People used to listen to the radios everywhere because it was only India. That passion was there. That commitment commitment was there from even the fans. I mean, which slowly went down. It, uh, it went declining. But uh, the reason, I mean, if even a middle-class family starts playing hockey, and if he thinks that he want to make it big in uh, hockey and want to represent in India for for India, I mean things will change. I mean, and I know it. I mean, I never thought that one day a kid who who had nothing, I mean, who had no phones, who had nothing in life, but uh, will be proudly representing the country. I mean, having with the uh, amount of population, it's it's it it was never thought. I mean, it it it's like a dream come true. But for that, you suffered a lot. I mean, for I have seen that journey. I have seen more than, I mean, uh, the trophies. I have seen injuries more than that. I have seen blood, I mean, in my life. So, but that blood was worth, I mean, because you're representing proudly for your country, uh, whether you're playing uh, the leagues abroad. So, that made sure that, okay, yeah, it's you. I mean, you want to do it. It's your bread and butter. I mean, you proudly represent that. So, Keep doing it. I mean, hang in there. Tough times will come. It, it The time will change. Things will uh, fall in place. But I never gave up. I mean, that's why I had I have a tattoo on my leg. I made my own coat for that. I made my own picture uh, with a warrior shield. And I say that I've seen so many injuries. But I never gave up. I'm a warrior. I mean, I, and the coat says I'm hard to beat. So whichever game I go to play, I step in. It's only I want to win that. I want to. I want to give everything for that. That's pretty amazing. Okay, so since you've spent so much of time in hockey, okay, can you tell us how hockey has evolved over the last one decade? I think uh, if you see that that uh, last year's Olympic medal, I mean, uh, which came after forty-one years, so that says a lot. I mean, uh, the, that the time has come. The time is changing. Uh, the medals are coming. So it's evolving. I mean, it. This Olympic Games, trust me, I mean, it's going to be a lot of high stakes on hockey. I mean, they want to change the color of the medal. So, uh, team is good. Team looks really well. And even the Hockey India League, the IPL of hockey is coming up again next year. It's going to be big. So, the auction is going to be there. So, see, it's all about that one switch. I mean, and and it is coming. It's your way. I mean, things going to change. And people will start loving the sport, which they left a couple of years back. So, Time is changing, things are changing, and I'm sure hockey will get this, uh, will stand back where it used to be. I mean, okay, so let's talk about your strategies as a player, as a midfielder. What kind yeah. of strategies are there in your mind when, when you, uh, you know, proceed for a game? How do you prepare yourself for the game? Well, it starts from the morning. I mean, that first thing, uh, in fact, it starts from the a day before. I mean, when you if you had a good sleep or not, I mean, are you having that pressure, I mean, for the next game, I mean, next morning. So, how you prepare yourself, it starts one day before, I mean, from your sleep, your sleep pattern, your morning first coffee, that black coffee you have, drink in the morning, and then you prepare yourself, yourself for the game, you do your music, uh, do yoga, and then that's how we prepare as, as myself, I mean, I prepare myself that way, listen to a good music, and then the time comes, you're in your own zone. Yeah, because pressure will be there. 
but it's all your life you have pressure i mean whether it come to your school in in morning you have to go 7 o'clock for the school your parents are telling you come on kid get up you have to get up and you have so much pressure from that time but when it comes to a hockey game it's all about that passion you have to change that pressure into a passion thing and then do it i mean and then the result will follow and that's how you prepare yourself you're mentally ready for that game you're focused and yeah nothing uh, is bigger i mean when you wear that tricolor on your chest i mean so that covers everything for us okay now looking back do you think there was any kind of plan b for you apart from hockey or you always oh, like you know is the plan no, that b, was that i mean i i had plan b to be honest i mean cricket i mean i'm really good at it i even played cricket i mean for my department uh, for okay. bpcl along with a lot of legends i mean vagyan oja uh dawal kulkarni and then all these guys because surya kumar yadav shreya sayer they were busy playing for the country so they wanted uh, to fill in uh, for their inter department tournament which is like a big it's like a world cup for them so it was a department tournament and they were missing on uh, players so they said uh, who whom should we call i mean there is no players now left so they said uh, can we call from a hockey i mean because they are so agile they are so fit uh, they can do uh, so many things i mean and and so easier for them to adapt to it because a uh, uh, hockey player can play any sports it's so easy for them so they asked me i said uh, i would love to i mean to be part of it and honestly you won't believe i had two in the finals i had two run outs and i did good bowling for them i was helping okay. the team and they were really happy and proud of me that oh a hockey player coming and helping the team and that was against playing like in the noil in the finals uh, where they had uh, aditya tare and lot of international players okay so my last question to you what could be your word of advice to the upcoming players my only advice to all the kids i mean now i recently actually started a, my own academy for underprivileged kids because it relates to my life story i mean uh, now it's time for me to give it back i mean to to from where i came having nothing but at least i can provide uh, from to uh, for my underprivileged kids for my academy as much as i can i only tell them one thing i mean either be the best or step out i mean because if you want to play hockey you have to be the best i mean and for that you have to work really hard i mean you have to sweat you have to whether it will be blood or whether it's like you have to uh, do lot of sacrifices i mean but only thing is never take any shortcuts i mean uh, believe in the journey uh, the journey is going to be beautiful uh, with lot of a lot of ups and downs but it's up to you i mean how strong you are i mean opportunity will keep coming how it's important you don't leave that pitch i mean you should be inside standing inside the stadium and facing all the opportunities it will come it will pass by it will come it, it you won't succeed but your time will come i mean just believe in yourself and never give up okay at this note i would like to congratulate you and a heartfelt thank you for winning all the accolades for the country i wish you all the best it was lovely talking to you thank you yes. so much Have lovely talking to you thank you Same you too jai hind Thank you. Bye-bye.